I'm Susan Adele Heisinger. I am a retired business systems analyst, and I've resided my entire life in Connecticut. Um, Walling for Public Access has its doors open because I'm free. I'm retired, I decided this was my passion, and I wanted to prove that if the doors were open, things could change. And I hope to be reaching with this message young folks who may not have even been born when I was approached about community media. This space is in jeopardy. Um, they will lose it. And if they don't know they have it, uh, it's time they found out. Connecticut has community media literally run by the corporations obligated to provide it, which are the historic cable TV companies. And there's currently a bill, a tax reform bill. It's not a new tax. It was a payment in lieu of taxes obligation to support the voices of the people to give the resources that they have and large corporations have based on the use of the, the polls on the streets. It's not about taxing the internet, it's about taxing Fortune 100 and 500 companies for their use of public space and rights of way. Archaic language is what they use to say we are not obligated for that because we saw this happen when now Senator Blumenthal was trying to uh, combat a similar time w with AT&T. And there was threats that any change would cause layoffs. That's happening again today. With the current funding process is impossible, actually. Some have already considered closing, some nonprofits have considered closing. The reduction in funds means that the future to be able to actually hire and replace me as a retired individual volunteering does not exist. The cutting of funds minimizes our ability to provide for staffing in the summer for our youth program. Um, we need a base amount of funds to have a minimal staff. We are a 24-7 operation, seven days a week. That requires people what community media can do in the future, if stabilized with basic funding, is limitless. We are not Facebook, we are not uh, social media, we are community media, and you must contribute to community media for it to have value. The future of local news, local stories, will be in the hands of major corporations. That's not where it belongs. Your stories belong to you. We're more than TV. We're a space, we're a place, we're a creative environment for people of all ages.